Well, this series is back this time on the Mac, and we have tried to do some on Windows. We may or may not get around to them, but uh, we might. This time with iMovie. There's a couple of versions of iMovie. Uh, the most recent ones are iMovie HD, and the newest one, iMovie 08. And there's a the little symbol for it right there, the little star. Uh, iMovie 08, I really don't like it, so I'm really not going to show you any tips and tricks for it. But, I downloaded iMovie HD, being that I purchased a Mac with iMovie 08. And you can download it for free as long as you have a license of iMovie 08. So, here's what happened. First off, you'll be greeted with this window here. It'll say iMovie HD, and it'll ask you what you want to do. Create a new project, open an existing project, or make a magic movie. Or make a magic eye movie. Here's what you need to do. To first start off with it, you need to create a new project. So we click the create a new project button. It asks us where we want to save it. And I'm going to choose to save it on the desktop. And it's by default called My Great Movie. You can just type in My First Eye Movie. Or whatever you want to call it. And we just click create. Hit create it, and you'll get this window here. First thing I want to do is just enlarge the window so it takes the full screen. And uh, here I'm with the I'm here in the default iMovie interface. Uh, here over here you can see our panels. There's the clip panel. All of our clips that we import will lie right here. There's the themes panel. You can choose some themes. We're not gonna get into themes right now. Uh, you can choose road. We're not. Let's not get into themes right now. We'll save that for a later edition of the show. Uh, there's media like sounds. Uh, there's editing, like transitions and audio effects and video effects and titles and all these cool things. And then there's chapter markers here, where you can mark the chapters. You can add new markers and whatnot. Here's your volume control for the whole project. You can slide it down or you can slide it up. Here's your back button. Here's your play button. Here's your, uh, repeat button. Here's where you can choose to import your own video or slide it across. You can do this, right? And this screen will let you know when your camera's attached, and you can record directly to it or import videos off of it. As well, over here are your two uh, timeline views. There's timeline view, and then there's this boxy view. We'll get into that later. Okay, so the cool thing about this is it's really easy to start importing things in iMovie. Here's what you can do. Go up to File. Import. Let's let's go back. We gotta switch it back to this menu here. Let's see if we can get it and drag it. There we go. All right. So we will go back up to the file menu and click import, or it's Command I and Alt. Let's try it. I think that's the Alt symbol. <laughs> I forgot. Totally forgot. Command Alt I. No. Let's try it again. Let's do Control Command I or Alt Option I. Whatever. <laughs> it's it's. Real. I have a Mac keyboard, but it doesn't show that little symbol up there. So whatever. So File, Import. You get your little box here, and let's import. Let's import. Let's see what we have here. Let's uh. Hmm. Let's go to here. Let's import the opening movie there. We'll click open. And it'll be in importing files. And you can see the status of it right up at the top. And this is the first way of importing files. There is another way of importing files. And there you see the clip is right up there uh, in the little media clips button. There's another way of importing files, however. You can open up the finder. Find the file that you want. Let's go and get it. That's a little big. We're gonna we're gonna try to make it really small here. Uh, yeah. Let's try. Okay. Let's just go and get the same one. Okay. Let's do the Apple No. Yeah. Let's get that. All right. So what we're gonna do? I know we found it. We can just take it and drag it 
into the clips bar. We'll drag it right there and then it's import the files without having to go to uh, file import. Let's exit that out there. All right, and it's almost done importing, and we should be uh good to go. Once the little dialog box uh gets out of our way, we get the little swirly beach ball of death there. Actually, you won't die from this beach ball, but uh it just means that your computer is being processed to the maximum, as you can see uh well up here by my indicators here right up there on the top so all right and it's all imported we see our clip right beside the other one so we hope you enjoy these this iMovie HD basics the basic environment with importing and getting yourself aware, aware of the interface we hope you tune into another uh, video as we dive deeper into iMovie